Hi, I'm Jacob and this is the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. I'm here today to talk to you about the SIG 1911 external extractor. I've been every day carrying this 1911 for about five years now. It's got about 10,000 rounds through it. It's been on uh, survival trips, swimming, covered in mud, clay. Uh, it's been through a five-day classic tactical response way of the pistol. Uh, I've been through a lot of abuse and about 2,000 rounds ago, uh, I was on the 1911 forum, someone was telling me how uh, the SIG could not pass the 10-8 extractor test. I went out, I checked it, sure enough, it failed the extraction test. So I sent it off to SIG, they put a new extractor on it, and uh, it passed the test flawlessly. But recently, I've noticed a little bit of funky uh, extraction. I did this test a little bit back and it failed the test. So today in the mail, I got an EGW heavy duty extractor for the SIG. Uh, and what we're gonna do today is we're gonna see if I need that. This gun was just cleaned and lubricated in case anybody's wanting to know. I clean with hops number nine. And this was lubricated with Brothers and Arms True Blue Heater Grease. So, I'll put links to them below. I'm not going to put links to Hops. You can find them at any Walmart or anything. But the, the Brothers and Arms, I'll put a link to that below. Let's see uh, how this uh, 1911 performs. Uh, the idea here is that we're going to shoot the pistol with no magazine inserted. And I should still have perfect ejection. Uh, it should not go down through the magwell, it should not stovepipe, it should not go forward, it should not go backwards. Uh, the reason there's no magazine is the support from the magazine can mask and hide extractor geometry and tension issues. So, let's get to testing it out. What we're going to do is we're going to shoot one magazine, two-handed, one at a time without the magazine in the well, of course. And then we're going to do it another magazine with one hand. That would be failure number one. Failure number two. I forgot my magazine. Stupid. Failure number three. Needless to say, two-handed supported. This time, this test is going very poorly. Magazine number two will be shot with one hand. Ejected out of the magazine well. That is improper extraction. No pipe. All right, guys. So you get the idea. We are certainly failing the 10-8 test. Test Final failure. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go throw in this EGW Evolution Gunworks heavy duty extractor. 
The SIG one is made out of 416 stainless. I think it's just too soft. It's got too short of a lifespan. 2,000, 3,000 rounds. I should not be going through an extractor. Uh, so we're going to go throw on the Evolution Gunworks one, which is a tool steel, most likely uh, an 01, an 02, or an S7 tool steel. And uh, we're going to see, this is supposed to be a drop-in piece that is going to fix our problem like that and last just way, 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 way longer. So let's see if that works. Stop! All right, guys. I have a new extractor here. EGW, uh, heavy-duty extractor. It's uh, made out of tool steel instead of 416 stainless, like the factory SIG one. Um, I wanted to show you an installation video but the pin was just too tight. I was tearing up punches. Had to take it to a gunsmith because I don't want to screw anything up. So what we're going to do today is we're going to complete the test again and see uh, if we pass the test, which means two magazines of ball ammo without the magazine inserted. The first magazine with two hands, the second magazine with one. Uh, with no failures and perfect extraction, that's the goal. So let's see how it does. No magazine, one in the chamber. That's our first magazine, um, two-handed. Now we have to do a second magazine, one-handed, and we have to still get perfect extraction. If it passes this test, um, we do have acceptable extraction with the new extractor. The old extractor did have acceptable extraction when it was new from the factory from SIG. Obviously, that's worn out. So, let's see. Acting up, acting a fool. That was not proper extraction. It looked like it came from the magazine well. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to double check in the video, maybe in slow motion or something. Just pissing me off. All right, so obviously I did have issues returning to battery. Uh, stove pipe 
what uh, the 1911 platform is known for. Um, I believe we had good extraction throughout that test, except one of the rounds, when I shoot one-handed, might have come through the magazine well. No matter, now that I think about it, no matter whether it came through the magazine well or it just came straight down, that is not proper extraction. That is a failure of the test. So it is what it is. Um, according to the 10-8 test requirements, that would actually be considered pretty dang good uh, results, especially because I feel that I could go much longer with two hands as I did in the past. So it's not a pass. That's the bottom line. The SIG 1911 with the new EGW extractor has failed the test. There you go. Let me know what you think in the comment section, and I uh, hope that you have a blessed day. Thanks for watching.